It turns out that football players aren't just good at scoring goals and pulling off slick moves on the pitch, they're also pretty skilled at forcing rule changes in the sport. Whether it's Diego Forlan struggling to put his shirt back on or Jean-Marc Bosman taking on the whole transfer system, these players have left their mark on football history and on the rule books too. Here are five players who forced rule changes. Well folks, looks like Emmy Martinez has finally pushed it too far. The International Football Association board has had enough of his antics and decided to change the rules for all keepers. For those of you who don't remember, Martinez was the mastermind behind Argentina's World Cup final penalty shootout victory against France. He threw the ball away from the French takers, taunted them and showboated his way to victory. But now he's going to have to find a new way to get in the heads of his opponents. From July the 1st, goalkeepers will no longer be allowed to touch the goalposts or the nets to lay the execution of a penalty or unfairly distract the taker. In other words, Martinez can no longer play his mind games and show off his fancy footwork. The next one got to be closer to the hearts of many England fans. It was the summer of 2010 and England's hopes of World Cup glory rested on the shoulders of their star player Frank Lampard, but in a cruel twist of fate, Lampard's ghost goal was disallowed, leading to one of the most dramatic moments in football history. It was a crucial game against Germany and England was trailing 2-1. Lampard, always the hero, stepped up and scored what should have been the equaliser. But to the shock of the entire stadium and the nation, the referee waved it away, claiming that the ball had not crossed the line. The replay showed a different story. The ball had clearly crossed the line and the injustice of the decision left fans and players alike fuming. If the goal had been allowed, England could have drawn level at 2-2 at half-time and who knows what could have happened after that. But Lampard's disallowed goal did more than just cost England a chance at victory. It brought about the birth of goal line technology and in the long term, led to the use of VAR. Now, thanks to Lampard's misfortune, we have the technology to ensure that such injustices never happen again. Speaking of injustices, oh boy, we got a story for you about Denmark winning Euro 92. It's an epic underdog story, but the way they did it involves some spectacular shithousery that actually rushed through a rule change in football. So their keeper, Peter Schmeichel, had this time-wasting tactic where he would take a back pass, wait for an opponent to come close, and then scoop the ball up. It was pure anti-football genius, and he used it throughout the tournament. But the tactic was so effective and annoying that it led to a change in the back pass rule to what we know today. Goalkeepers aren't allowed to pick up deliberate passes from their teammates anymore. And you know what's crazy? The rule change came into effect right after Euro 92 ended. The Danes even took it to the next level and started passing back from midfield all the way to Schmeichel just to kill time. Talk about taking advantage of the rules. Denmark might have won Euro 92, but their act truly revolutionized football from there on. Just like what Jean-Marc Bosman did back in the day that continues to facilitate modern day players. Move over Marvel, the real superhero story of the 90s was the rise of Jean-Marc Bosman, the Belgian midfielder who took on the entire football industry and won. You see, back in the day a player couldn't leave a club unless they were released on a free transfer or the buying club played an agreed fee. But when Bosman's club demanded an outrageous fee, he was left with no choice but to take them to court. It took five years of legal wrangling but Bosman emerged victorious with the European Court of Justice ruling that players could leave their club for free once their contract was up. And just like that, the transfer market was changed forever. No longer would clubs hold all the cards. Players could demand huge signing on fees and salaries to make up for the lack of a transfer fee being paid. So the next time you're watching your favorite team sign a big name player on a free transfer, remember that this is all thanks to the unsung hero, Jean-Marc Bosman. The final rule change features the Uruguayan star, Diego Forlan. Now picture this, it's November 2nd, 2002 and Diego Forlan is subbed on during a match against Southampton. The game is tied at 1-1 and it's crunch time. Forlan swoops in and scores the game-winning goal, ecstasy. He rips off his shirt and goes wild with celebration, but when it's time to put his shirt back on, disaster strikes. He can't seem to figure it out and ends up playing with it in his hands like a lost puppy. He even made a tackle without his shirt on. It took three people to finally help him put the shirt back on. Talk about a wardrobe malfunction. Who knew that this hilarious moment would lead to a rule change? 
FIFA came out with Regulation 12 in 2004 stating that players can't take off their shirts or even cover their faces with them. Apparently, it was considered excessive and the players who disobeyed the rule would get a yellow card. Moral of the story, don't take off your shirt during a game no matter how pumped you are. Ok, ok, that's all for today. While you're at it, please like the video if it's informative. Also, subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell notification so you never miss any videos that we post.